You're right there, you lovely lot. Mark here with a discussional video of why you may want to look at Age of Fantasy Regiments Edition. If you've got the itch to, or scratch, desire to play the old world, but you may be daunted with all the rules, you may be struggling to get a hold of the product, the produce of it, Age of Fantasy may be your way into the regimental uh, fantasy tabletop game. Now, the reason why I'm a big advocate for this is it's very straightforward, it's very chilled, it's just very nice to play, and it's just relaxing, okay? So, um, with games workshops products for example go on to their site i want to get hold of their rule book i can't i get can't get hold of it but you may be going mark one page rules to downloads it, a lot of it's digital why not look at their digital rule book cool let's have a look at their digital rule book find out more yeah 30 pounds now i'm not sure what that'll be in your country whatever that might be Let's just say, humor me, let's go on to dollars. Cool, $52. For me, for a digital download, that's a bit of a big pill to swallow. Whereas then, if you go to one page rules, you want to download it. Cool, they're free. The core cool rules, the beginner's guide, the mission cards, they're all free. So... Here is your call cool rules. There's 18 pages of them. Your mission cards. So you can go through and just select the mission you want to play. And then your quick core cool rules, your quick reference sheet to go by two pages. Now you may go, well, Mark, I want to get hold of an actual book. I want a tangible book in my hand. Cool. One page rules does that as well. For five dollars you can get hold of the advanced rule book um i know a lot of people in the area or maybe your area and stuff like that may have the option to go to a printers and that's where i got mine as well it's stored away but i've got it in a ring binder um uh set up sleeves and everything like that so i got them to print out the pages for me i put it in there uh, the quick reference sheet is in the uh, back of it, so I can go right to the very back. Done. It cost me grand total of five in total. I think it was like five quid to have it printed, colour printed, and a quid for the actual binder. Pound. Done. Alright, so don't get me wrong, I'm going out of my way to get it printed. But if I can't get hold of the book and I'm a bit tight on the pennies, why not do that? Now you may be going, Mark, um, I want Games Workshop models unless you've got a local gaming store or you go to a third party um seller you're going to be struggling um they're out of stock um, we all know there's production issues with games workshop but why are you potentially holding yourself back to only official games workshop models if you go into official games workshop gaming events yes you need to use their models for it but if you just want to have fun and play with your fantasy armies, then why not download the models um, from their mini wargaming factory site? If you got hold of your own 3D printer, or you've got someone who has got a 3D printer, that you can throw them a couple quid for them to print out your models, why not do that? Because, say for example, Tomb King, cool, $74. I now got hold of a Mummy King, Onsteed, Queen, Priest, Warriors, Archers, Mummies, uh, Statues, Horsemen, and a, a Statue. So you can all imagine what proxies those are for. And you may go, Mark, that's $74. Cool. Become a member of their Patreon, which I believe is around $10.00 you get 50% off their digital files. Already pays for itself. If you buy that, it's half price. Why not? But you could be screaming at me right now, 
Mark, I don't have a 3D printer. I don't want to faff around with 3D printers. I have no one that I know of that does 3D printing. Fine. Don't worry about it. Go on to the only game site. You select undead, uh, uh, mummies, undead, mummified undead. Words are difficult today. I do apologize. Cool. £78. You get the set. You get a starter set right there for £78. Nice selection of models there. You just glue them together. You're done. Or then you select the specific units you want. You can get them printed and you're done. One page rules. If you just then treat apples to apples, all right, the same thing to same thing, and you go, I want hard copies of the rule books from Games Workshop and one page rules. They're cheaper. Straight off the bat, one page rules is cheaper. You want models, the accessibility and the ease of getting hold of them can be easier on one page rules. All right. Um, the actual gameplay, that's quite different. Um, old world has a lot of nuance and you can add a lot of flavor to it. It has named characters. It can really go into it that you can um, add so many um, relics and weapons and enhancements onto your heroes and stuff. You can't really do it as much in one page rules. However, the ease of the gameplay, one page rules wins out. Okay, so there are pros and cons. So I really do think you should potentially look at regiments because on top of that, you're not just stuck using one page rules models. You can use other brands out there, other STL files, other uh, resin or metal or plastic firms. Nothing stopping you. You can even use your old Games Workshop models in there. If you've got old Tomb King models, use them in Regiment. Why not? Nothing stopping you. So, yeah, this is me just bringing to light why not look at it. You know, don't get just corralled that you, oh, I can't get hold of the Games Workshop rulebook. While you're waiting for it to come in stock, why not get hold of the Fantasy rule, uh, the fantasy Regiments rulebook? It's a free download. Why not have a gander at it? Why not ask your mates? We got these models. Why not give it a go? Why not have a game out of it? You know, it's straightforward. It's chilled. Beers and pretzel time, ain't it? But anyway. If you want me to go more into depth into these videos down the line, how to build an army, how to use 3D uh, printing, you know, comparison of go through the different armies that they facilitate or even the different builds because there is an army build forge that you can use online for free that you can go through and just build it. Let me know. Okay, I'm more than welcome to go through this kind of stuff. But anyway, if you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've had experience with one page rules or you're interested in it. But anyway, take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. Hope to see some of you, if not all of you, in the next one. Ta-ra for now. Just a quick little advert for myself. If you'd like to support the channel, click that subscribe button. Click that notification so you know when there's more content coming out. And if you want to go above and beyond, we've now got the access to YouTube memberships. Three different tiers, bronze, silver and gold. Starting out, bronze, great opportunities. Silver, you get the previous perks on top of the new perks. All helps and there's a little added bonus for printing. And then the gold is the full works. You get one to one with me and exclusive videos going forward. Thank you again.